Hey guys, Abs here. Uh, we've made a couple of changes to the IM Power Suite, so I'm going to be taking you through exactly what changes you can see. Um, so I'm going to log in to the, I'm, I'm going to double click the IM Power Suite icon now and uh, get into the application. You'll actually be getting an auto update to update the application, guys. So when you do get a message to auto update, just click on yes, um, that you do want to. Okay, so the very first thing that I'm going to take you through is the settings section, guys. Uh, we've made, okay, let me just delete all of these proxies. Okay, I'm going to show you how to delete proxies as well now. Okay, so um, the way this remove selected proxy button works, guys, if you click on that, it's not going to work. Okay, you see one get removed. It's not going to work. The, re the reason it's not going to work is because we need to highlight the whole line. So, for example, we click on here, press and delete, and it's going to work. So, click on there, press and delete, and it's going to work. And what you can do as well is do a few of them at a time, um, or you can do them all at a time. <coughs> Any, uh, it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. Let me just get rid of all these. And I'm going to show you how the proxy uh, tester works as well. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go and remove some proxies because I've got quite a large file here. Okay, so I've got, um, let's take a look how many proxies I've got in there. Okay, I've got like 196. Let me just remove a few of these guys. We don't need to test them all, um, especially not on this example. I'll delete a few so we can do a few. Okay, we've got 83 proxies in there. Fantastic. Let me click on save. Right, I'm going to go in here, guys, and I'm going to click on import proxy and I'm going to choose a proxies file. As you can see, what the software does now is just going to import all of the proxies and have them all checked. Now, the reason it's having them all checked is because it's going to test them all for you. However, many of you guys actually use um, a number of various proxy tools that scrape your proxies and also test your proxies for you. So having the software automatically test the proxies wasn't the best of ideas. Um, so now instead of what you can do is import your proxies and you can click on test proxies guys. It works with five threads at a time now um, and as you can see it's going to go away and um, test all the proxies for you. So where it says please wait guys that means um, the pro the threads are still open so it's going to go away and test all these proxies for you guys okay and um, that's that's fantastic let that continue and test what you can do now is you can actually click on minimize guys and as you can see it's gone at the bottom there the second part that I want to show you okay while that's getting tested anyway guys uh, we can always maximize it as well and bring them up okay so as you can see they've still got a few more threads and a few more proxies that it still needs to test um, what I'm going to do is go over to the PR juicer. Now in the PR juicer it's exactly the same guys but you've got an edit account details. Now this button here is actually labeled wrong. Uh, it says sig up. It should be sign up. We're going to be uh, renaming that as well before we send out the update. Um, and then you've got a re-like one as well guys. So sign up works in exactly the same way as the current video that I've actually shown you on how to sign up for your PR juicer accounts and how to um, like the likes. Sorry and, and how to actually go ahead and sort your files out and everything as well. Um, now you've got a relike script in here as well guys. Now if you check on the relike button, um, as you can see your password field and check keyword availability gets removed and what this does uh, what this does, it actually allows you the ability to log back into your already created Tumblr accounts and relike other URLs. So let me show you exactly how that works. Let me just pull this up first guys and see if this is actually complete. Okay it says at the bottom there proxy testing is done. So that means this proxy testing is done. What we can do, as you can see, there are going to be a new a number of uh, transparent proxies in there, guys, like this one here. Uh, what we'll do though is click on remove transparent, and as you can see, the transparent ones get removed. I'm not going to be using proxies on this um, example, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go and delete them all. Oops, I should have, just, instead of hitting the delete key, I should have click the remove selected proxies okay and all of them have been removed now so I'm gonna click on exit guys so I don't want to be working with the proxy script instead what I want to do is show you exactly how the relike works now in a previous demonstration guys um, even on this demonstration as well I've actually gone and reliked some more posts as well on tumblr um, however I'm gonna actually go away and see if I can get some more likes Okay, so I'm going to go to my success uh, Tumblr account. This is the one when I actually created the Tumblr account, the very first one, guys. If you can recall, we had a number of, um, we well, we had four posts that we liked in there. Um, so I'm going to get the email, and I'm going to copy the email. I'm going to go over to my current folder, which is my current uh, PR Juicer one, which is PR Juicer New, I've labeled it as. And I'm going to create a new file. And in the file, I'm going to put in my email, separated by a comma, and then what we need to do is put our password in there as well. I already know my password, as you can see, it's Peter1122. Okay, so I'm going to put that in here, Peter1122. Two, two. 
Okay, and that's all you need to do, guys. So um, it's one per line again. So if you had more Tumblr accounts that you wanted to log into and like, again, it's only going to do four likes at once. But if you did have more Tumblr accounts that you wanted to log into and like as well, guys, you just put one per line, and that's email, comma, password. Um, I'm going to save this over. Save as, and I'm going to save it into account signups final PR juicer, and I'm going to save it into as Tumblr logins. Okay, and I'm going to cancel out of that. We don't need this file in here no longer, and I'm going to open up this account here. Okay, what I'm going to do is first we'll go over to PR Juice and New, and I'm going to delete this log results. The reason I'm going to um, delete the log results is because you can see, guys, I've already used. Um, and, and this is from today as well. So if you have a look at the date, it's the 24th of October, 24th of October as well. So I did this about 40 minutes ago. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I've already liked a number of URLs in here already. Um, I'm going to cross out of that now. I'm going to actually remove this file in here. Um, so then we don't get confused. Okay, now I'm going to go to edit account details in PR Juicer and I'm going to ensure that I've got the real like on there. Now the select keywords file is going to be the ones that we just created, which was the Tumblr likes sorry tumblr logins okay and cert, um and the select url file now i've already liked the last four on here um so what i'm going to do is go and remove a few okay let's remove these okay and let's save it over let's go back in here and load this file and i've had the file as urls okay and there you go guys now i'm going to click on start and as you can see it's signing in updating like success is signed in and we need to wait until that goes over to start again guys to ensure that it has fully completed so it's updating the likes and it's saying success at the moment but it hasn't completed yet and now at the bottom there guys it says end of sign up um i need to get that changed over because that's just the log report doing it from the previous one but as you can see it says it's done so let's go back over to the pr juicer okay it was a pr juicer new it's got log results success and as you can see we've got a success file up there now at 1142 so if we go into that guys exactly the same again and we can check the urls so we can check this one this one this one was the one that had the microwaves ovens um okay Okay, this one hasn't gone through yet. We just need to wait a little while. I think that was a, a fairly quick one, maybe that's why. Okay, that one doesn't look like it's gone through. Let's go to this one here. Let's quickly press refresh if it's gone through. Yes, there we go. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, there's microwave ovens, guys. As you can see, I'll just press refresh there. And if I click on that, it's going to take us to appliancesforyou.co.uk, which is exactly what we're looking for. And if I put the next URL in there guys yes this one's been updated as well microwave ovens fantastic um, we can actually check the, um, the third one as well we'll check one more and uh, well we'll check them both then <laughs> okay so this is the third one and there's microwave ovens there as well okay and the very final one guys is this one here and where is microwave ovens there's microwave ovens just there now i'm not 100 percent sure what the page rank of these urls are like now uh, but we can certainly check page rank oh or a tank <laughs> here we go okay let's place this url in here again the tumblr one and 4z 4z and let's check the page rank Again, guys, these are all do follow links. Um, okay, this one's saying it's got a naught page rank on there. Not to worry. Um, we can always ensure that we actually um, check the page rank for these URLs before we actually go and actually post to them. Some of them are fantastic. Some of them are going to lose page rank, and some of them are upper. Oops, what did I do that for? Okay, I want to go to the page rank checker again. FZ24. Okay, this one's saying it's a page rank two of ten. Still fantastic, you know. You're getting a you're getting a do follow um, backlink on there uh, from a page rank two on the actual URL. Again, guys, some of these are going to be super hot. Some of them are going to be as high as a page rank six as well. Um, 
so it's just a matter of actually filtering through the URLs if you've got a page rank checker then you can certainly um, put them through the page rank checker um, and check them that way alternatively what I can actually do is create a page rank checker inside of the IM Power Suite so you can actually check the URLs and page rank as well uh, before you actually do go up and sign up okay here is another one guys uh, page rank 6 of a uh, page rank 6 um, which is fantastic and as you can see if we go over to that URL uh, we got our um, link on there as well, microwave ovens, which is going to go over to appliancesforyou.co.uk. Um, okay, then, guys, this is um, the PR juicer. Other than that, nothing else has changed. Um, so you can now re-like using your already existing um, Tumblr accounts, and you can also sign up as usual. Um, and let me just give a bit more explanation on the the proxies guys so now basically you can import your proxies and it's not going to automatically test or you can alternatively you can import them and tell the software to test and it will work with five threads open um, also at the same time guys um, what the software does is before it attempts to make a sign up or anything um, of the sort it will actually test that first it will test the proxy first if the proxy is deemed useless then it will change proxy test it and then if the proxy is fine it's going to go and sign up to that account and it will do exactly the same for every time it actually goes to make a request so the success rate should be much better and proxy handling is much better as well and just to show you we actually had a slight issue um, let me just go back over and get a proxy okay 3128 okay we had a slight issue when you were loading your proxy in here um, it wouldn't allow it it cause an error but now guys as you can see save proxy it's gonna work you can test that proxy as well and there you go it brings back the anonymity as well um, other than that guys this is um, the PR juicer and the IM power suite update um, our next updates we're working on the um, rapid index attacks and gumtree poster as rapid index attack and the gumtree poster as blaster as well um, so I hope this has come um, at no better time and the proxy um, usage and um, algos that we've actually programmed in here um, should be much much better for users that are actually testing proxies outside of the program as well um, other than that guys uh, thank you very much and hope to see you soon